Good morning, students. Welcome back to Grade Nine Mathematics Online Class. Today we are going to see the continuation of the first chapter, set language. Shall we revise the second exercise? Children, what is meant by set? A set is a well-defined collection of objects, isn't it? Then in last class we revised. Representation of a set, isn't it? First one, a descriptive form. Second one, set builder form. And third one, the roster form or tabular form. Okay. Now we are going to revise types of sets. Okay. Types of sets. Then what are the types of sets? Can you remember? Empty set or null set. First one. Empty set or null set. Next one, or singleton set, finite set, infinite set, then cardinal number of sets, equivalent set, and equal sets. Okay. Then what is meant by empty set? What is meant by empty set? Can you say? Yes. Set consisting of no elements is called an an empty set. Okay. A set consisting of no element. Okay. No element is called what? Empty set. Okay. Then uh, for example, A is equal to null set. A is equal to one set. Then uh, A is equal to uh, null set. Here yeah? inside the set, uh, no elements, isn't it? So it is called what? Empty set. Okay. Now another one example can be same. Then set of all integers between 1 and 2. Set of all integers. Integers 1 and 2. 1 and 2 any integers can you say? No. Isn't it? We cannot say any integers. Okay. Then what are the integers? 0. And then minus all values. Minus 3 minus uh, 4. Minus 3 minus 2. Minus 1. 0. 1, 2, 3 etc. etc. Isn't it? Then in between uh, any other uh, integers? No, isn't it? So this is a null set. Okay? There are no elements. So it is a null set or empty set. Okay. Next to second one, singleton set. Then what is mean by singleton set? Can you say? Then a set which has only one element is called a singleton set. Okay? Then a set which has only one element. Okay. Can I say one example? The set of all even prime numbers. Even prime numbers. What are the even prime numbers? Only one prime number. Is it? That means suppose B is equal to uh, then 2. Is it? B is equal to uh, then set of all even prime numbers. That means then set of even prime number is 2. Okay. Then it has only one element. So, uh, so we can say what? This is the singleton set. The next one, finite set. What is meant by finite set? A set where finite number of elements is called finite set. Okay? A set um, with finite number of elements is called a finite set. Finite number of elements. Can you say one example? And then for example, there is a set of all. Uh, set of uh, set of family members. You are in your family members. So how many of them? You know, isn't it? And that is the finite. We can find it uh, that members. Okay. That is called a, a finite set. Then infinite set means a set uh, which is uh, not finite. Not finite is called a infinite set. Okay. Then for example, uh, set of all. Then a is equal to set of um, what natural numbers set of all natural numbers then 1 2 natural numbers starts from 1 2 uh, 3 then 4 etc etc then we cannot finite isn't it etc up to how much we don't know okay that is called an infinite set okay and then uh, next one cardinal number of a set okay cardinal number of a set uh, uh, cardinal number of a set uh, a is uh, denoted by what? N of A. Okay, what is meant by cardinal number of a set? The number of elements in a set, mm, number of elements in a set is called a cardinal number of a set. Am I correct? 
the number of elements in a set is called cardinal number of a set. That means the cardinal number of a set denoted by A means. Okay, suppose A is equal to, for example, I am giving A is equal to, um, then uh, some letters I am giving A, B, C, D. Okay. Uh, here A is equal to how many letters are there? Four letters, isn't it? Therefore, from here N of A, cardinal number of A. How we can find N of A is equal to, uh, then count and write. One, two, three, four. This is cardinal number. Have understood number of elements. Number, how many number of elements here? Four elements, isn't it? Then next one, equivalent search. What is mean by equivalent search? Equivalent search. Equivalent set means two finite sets A and B are said to be equivalent if they contain same number of elements. Okay, same number of elements are same means that is called what? Equivalent set. Okay, then uh, for example, uh, then I am giving A is equal to for example A, common example I am giving and then A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and then B is equal to 1, 2, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. Like that, two sets with I2. Okay. Here, A, A is, uh, is equivalent or not equivalent, we can find. Okay. See here, here N of A is equal to, N of A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Isn't it? That 4 you should write it. Suppose N of B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Is equal to 4. Then the number of elements are equal. So we can at once what we can write? A is equivalent to A is equivalent to B. Okay, that symbol is like this. Okay, equivalent. Okay, then A is equivalent to B. Okay, how I understood why N of A is equal to N of B. N of A is equal to N of B means then we can write what this is equivalent. Okay. Next one, what is mean by the equal sets? Okay, number of elements are equal means that is called what? Equal sets. Number of elements are Elements are equal means that is called equal sets. Okay, then two sets uh, A and B. Okay, A and B uh, set to be same, uh, same elements. Containing both also, containing same elements means then we can say what? Equal set. For example, I am giving one example here. A is equal to uh, here 1, 3, 5, 7. Okay. B is equal to another number. Uh, then I am giving here 5, 7, 3, 1. Okay. Then uh, close the bracket. Okay. A is equal to B is equal to. Here. You see, A is equal to uh, 1, 1, 3, 5, 7. Here also, this 1 is available in B. 3 is available in A, here B, isn't it? This 5 is also in B. 7 is also in B. Have you understood? So, both also same elements. Containing as exactly same elements. Okay. Therefore, uh, what we can write? A is equal to B. Okay. Then both also A and B are equal set. A and B are equal sets. Equal set. Have understood? These are the types of a set. Okay. Next one, universal set. Okay. Universal set means what is the universal set? A universal set is a set that contains all the elements of all, all sets under consideration and it is usually denoted by what? U. It is denoted by U. Okay. This universal set is denoted by U. And that means this one we can say U is equal to set of all natural numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, etc, etc. All elements it will come. Okay. That is called what? Universal set. Okay. Then what is meant by subset? Here subset means then uh, let A and B are the two sets. Uh, you, every element of A is also in the element of B, B. 
then a is called the subset of b have you understood that subset is denoted by a is the subset of b okay and shall i give one example here and this is the universal set okay this is the universal set a is equal to one set i am giving a is equal to one comma two okay then b is equal to and then i am giving another one example b is equal to 1 2 3 4 okay then now um, we can write what this a is the subset of b how we can write then a then two elements are there 1 and 2 these two elements are in b set have you understood this 1 and 2 is available in b so what we can write this a is is a subset of b have you understood suppose we can um, another one example here a is equal to 3 comma 5 then b is equal to 1 2 6 7 like this we want okay now can you say is it a subset no why 3 and 5 is not in b Isn't it? Not in B. So what we can write? A is not a subset. Not a subset of B. Have understood? Not a subset of B. Any doubt? Next one. Uh, here already example one point seven. Example one point seven. You uh, uh, study. Okay. Then write all the subset of A is equal to a comma b. Okay, a comma b. Then example one point seven. Write all the subsets of a is equal to set of a comma b. Okay. Then I write all the subset. What are the subsets? We can write subset of a or every set has one null set. Okay. So what we can write first uh, set a or null set and Set of A, set of B, set of A comma B. Okay, like that. And how many uh, subsets are there? Four, isn't it? Then null set, set of A, set of B. Then afterwards, uh, set of A comma B. Have you understood? Any doubt? Then next one. Here, one more example. Shall I give you? And here null set and then subset means then for example uh, here uh, this one integer okay then uh, next one this is whole number next natural numbers okay is uh, is natural number is a subset of uh, whole number is a natural number is a is a subset of na, odd whole number yes okay then all natural numbers are in whole numbers have understood then every whole numbers are a subset of which one integers have understood is integers any doubt then how it clear have understood this one what is meant by subset okay Then next one, proper subset. Okay, proper subset means that A and B are the two sets. If A is a subset of B, when A is the subset of B, but A is not equal to B, A is not equal to B, then that A is called a proper subset of B. Okay, proper subset means A is a proper subset of B. Like this, we can write. Have understood? Then uh, one example we shall give. A is equal to set of one, two, then uh, five. Okay. Then B is equal to okay one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Then uh, check it. Is it a proper subset of A? Is the proper subset of B? Shall we check? Okay. First we check it. One, two, and five. 
or in B such. Okay. But A is not equal to B. Both also equal or not equal. Both conditions satisfy. Have you understood? A, all elements are in B. Then, but uh, these two are not equal. A is not equal to B. So, at once what we can write? A is the proper subset of B. A is the proper subset of B. Okay. Next, what is meant by uh, disjoint such? For example, this is one set. This is on another set. A set, B set. Okay. A set, B set. Uh, two sets, A and B are said to be disjoint if they do not have common elements. These two, any common elements are there? No, isn't it? So, what we can write? A intersection B is equal to null set. Okay, fine. So, what we can write? A and B are said to be disjoint. Okay, these two are no common elements. Okay, so what we can say? This is the disjoint set. Okay, this is all definitions. So if you want to study, you uh, revise. Okay, competitive exam. Uh, this is very, very useful for you. Okay, be careful and study. Okay, then uh, shall I give one question here? Then uh, example 1.8. Verify whether A is equal to one set is given. Then B is equal to another set is given or disjoint. These two are disjoint. Okay, verify. Shall we verify? And then both also A in the session B common, you find out. Any common elements are here? No, isn't it? So it is a null set. A in the session B is equal to what? 5. Okay, null set. So at once what we can write? A and B are disjoint set. A and B are disjoint set. Have you understood? Shall we take two more questions? Exercise 1.2 State in uh, uh, fifth one state which pairs of sets are disjoint or overlapping. Okay. Then a disjoint set or overlapping set. Then uh, two questions I am uh, explaining now. A is equal to one set is given. B is equal to another set is given. Okay. Uh, here you say A is equal to B is equal to right. Both in, uh, then in the session you find out. Okay. What is the intersection? F both also common. A also common. Then A S also common. Isn't it? And therefore, uh, here how many elements are there? Three elements are there. It is not equal to 5. Okay. Not equal to null set. At once what we can write? A and B are overlapping set. What is meant by overlapping set? A in the session 5. A in the session B is not equal to 5. Okay. A in the session B is not equal to 5 means then that is called a uh, word overlapping set. It, at least one common element are there means what we can say this is the overlapping set. Have understood? Then next one, uh, second one also I am explaining. Then it is such that it is the prime numbers. Then what are the uh, first, uh, then prime numbers x uh, then greater than 2. What are the prime numbers? You should write it. 3, 5, 7, 11. 13 etc. Okay. Then second one x is such that x is a even prime number. Which is the even prime number? D then set of 2. Okay. Any common is there? No common. Isn't it? So what we can say? C and D are disjoint set. Have understood? What is mean by overlapping set? What is a disjoint set? Did you get one idea? Okay. Next what is mean by power set? Okay. The set of all subsets of a set A is called a power set of A. It is denoted by P of A. It is denoted by what? P of A. The set of all subsets. Okay. One set is given means all subset first you write it. Okay. Then uh, it is denoted by P of A. Okay. Set of all subsets. That subset, all subsets inside the set you should write it. That is the power set. Okay. That P of A. Okay. Then uh, shall I give, um, shall I explain uh, two questions? Write down the power set of the following set. D is equal to P, Q, R, S. Okay. Like that given. D is equal to P, Q, R, S. Write it. All subsets write it. What are the subsets you can uh, write here? Every set has one. Um, what null set is there? Isn't it? The null set. Then set of P. 
set of Q, set of 4, set of S. Separately you should write it. Then afterwards, uh, two, two elements you should write it. Okay, set of P, comma, Q. Then next one, P, comma, R. Then uh, set of P, comma, S. Then set of Q, comma, R. Then uh, set of Q, comma, S. Okay, then R, comma, S. Then next uh, three, three elements you should take it. Okay, then afterwards uh, four elements together I did. These are the subsets of D. Okay, then these all subsets you should write in, in, in the word set. Okay, that means P of D. Power set of D, that means P of D is equal to set of. Okay, these all subsets write inside the set. Have you understood? Then afterwards uh, close the uh, set. Any doubt? Okay, this is the power set. Any doubt? D is equal to uh, subsets, all subsets you find out. Then afterwards, B of D you find out. Okay, then next one. Uh, here, E is equal to uh, pi. Okay, E is equal to null set. Null set means, so then how we can find E is equal to null set. Then power set of E is P of E. Is equal to set of, um, here only one. Subset is there, pi only. Okay. Then, uh, so what we can write null set only. So, P of E is equal to set of null set. Okay. Have understood? Then afterwards, uh, some important properties we can say. If N of A is equal to M, then N of P of A is equal to 2 power M. Okay. The number of proper subset of a set A is N of P of A minus 1 is equal to what? 2 power M minus 1. Okay. Then number of proper subset. We want to find out means number of subset. Uh, what we can find? Number of um, what? Proper subset is equal to what? N of P of A minus 1 and equal to 2 power M minus 1. Okay, number of uh, subset we want to find out means so what's the formula 2 power m. I understood number of subset is equal to formula is 2 power m. You must study this one. Okay, competitive exam also uh, very useful for you this uh, formulas. Okay, number of subset is equal to 2 power m. Okay, then number of proper subset what's the formula 2 power m. Minus 1. What is M? M is equal to, that is N of A is equal to M. Okay. N of A. N of A you will find now what value you will get. That is M. Have you understood? We shall I give one question. Then exercise 1.2, 9th question you will check it. Find the number of subsets and the number of proper subsets of the following set. Okay. Second one. And then x equal to set of x square such that x belongs to n. Then this x square less than or equal to what? Less than or equal to 100. Okay. Less than or equal to 100. Then what are the values? It will come x equal to same. x equal to and then x belongs to n. x square less than or equal to 100. And that means uh, below 100, then what are the x square values? Uh, for example, 1 is 1, we can take. Then natural numbers, isn't it? 1 square is what? 1. Then 2 square is 4. Then 3 square is 9. Then uh, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square, then 6 square, 7 square, 8 square, 9 square, then uh, 10 square also you take it. Okay, 10 square means less than or equal to 100, it will come. Okay. Therefore, n of x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, n of x is equal to 10. This n of x only m value. Have understood? Then, number of subset. Then, number of subset we want to find. What's the formula? Number of subset is equal to 2 power m. 2 power m. That means 2 power m is 2 power this 10. You should write it. 2 power 10. Okay. 2 power 10 means then... And then 2, how many times? You have to write, multiply 10 times. Okay. 2 into 2 into then 10 times you should multiply. Okay. Then everything you should multiply means what so you will get? 1024. Okay. Then 1024. Have you understood? This is the number of subsets. Okay. 
but important question this on retard plant study okay then second uh, question is the number of proper subset what's the formula number of proper subset is 2 power m minus 1 2 power m minus 1 2 power m means then 2 power 10 okay 2 power 10 minus 1 okay already we find this in it 2 power m then already we got this answer so this answer we have to substitute here 1024 minus this one equal to 1023 got it have understood then then this is got and this is the sound the number of subset and the number of proper subset if they ask means like this you do have understood any doubt then 10th question also you have to say second one if n of a is equal to 0 find n of p of a okay n of p of a then second uh, third one if n of p of a is equal to 256 then find n of a okay here n of a is given okay then n of uh, a is uh, 0 is given then n of p of a find out okay that means the number of subset you should find out okay then uh, how we can find you say n of a is equal to 0 means m is equal to 0 we know isn't it therefore n of p of a is equal to formula is 2 power m then 2 power m is equal to 2 power 0 2 power 0 is what's the value n number power 0 is what's the value 1 have understood then third one n of p of a is equal to 256 is given then n of p of a what's the formula 2 power m isn't it is equal to a here 256 so how many 2's are available you check it you know very well isn't it like this you find out okay 2 how many times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 times then 2 power 8 isn't it that means here base are equal okay base both also equal so powers also equal okay and what we can write m is equal to 8 have understood and then base equal means powers are equal therefore m equal to 8 m means what n of a n of a is equal to 8 did you get the answer n of a value on 5 therefore n of a is equal to 8 answer we got okay then this one you say, yeah, if n of a is equal to 4, find n of p of a. Okay, find n of p of a. Okay, this one second model only. Okay, what is given? n of a is equal to 4. That means m is equal to uh, what 4? Isn't it? Solution. Then m equal to 4. Uh, then m equal to 4 means then n of p of a want to find n of p of a is equal to 2 power m isn't it then 2 power m means then 2 power 4 okay then equal to 2 how many times you want to write 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 isn't it then 2 2 is 4 4 2 is 8 8 2 is 16 correct therefore n of p of a is equal to 16 any doubt have you understood then in this one be careful and study Okay, and then uh, competitive exam very very useful for you. This example and the uh, example and exercise as well as this uh, on definition everything. Okay, be careful and study. Don't omit this uh, chapter. Okay. See here exercise seven the sum. Um, then if a is equal to set of a comma set of a comma b. Okay. Then write all the subsets of A. Okay, write all the subsets of A here. Set of A, comma, then set of A, comma, B. This one be careful and write it. Okay, set of A, comma, B is there, second element. Okay, and how we can write the subsets? You say, then the subset of A or every set has one null set is there, isn't it? So, first we can write null set, comma, then um, one element first we can write set of A. Then another element is what set of this uh, here second element is set of A comma B. Okay, have understood this one? 
okay then uh, one one element first this is one element this one together this is one, another element second element okay so set of this element you should write it this element is what set of a comma b okay this one uh, close the bracket already here open now this uh, close it okay then afterwards set of this two set uh, two set uh, two elements okay this two elements together we have to write okay then uh, how we can check this one and uh, the number of uh, subsets how we can check uh, this this answer is correct or wrong how we can check 2 power m isn't it and then uh, 2 power m is there 2 power m formula therefore how many elements are there this uh, two uh, two elements are there okay 1 2 okay therefore 2 power 2 2 power 2 is or 2 into 2 is equal to 4 okay then uh, four elements are there did you get uh, four elements check it uh, four subsets did you get one two three four okay four elements we got have understood so this answer is correct or wrong like this we have to we can check okay any doubt finite and infinite set and then two question i'm explaining okay a is equal to set of x such that x belongs to e set and it's uh, less than 5. Okay, this is a uh, second ex exercise, second sum, two question uh, explaining. Okay, then uh, a is equal to what are the integers you should write it? x less than 5. x is the integer, x is an integer that is uh, less than 5. Okay, what are the numbers etc. etc. minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, 4 up to 4 why means here less than less than or equal to means 5 also it will come okay then up to 4 you should write it then uh, is it a um, uh, finite or infinite very good it is a an infinite set okay why etc etc is there how much we don't know okay that is it is an infinite set okay like that fourth one it's such that x square minus 5x plus 6 equal to 0 okay then x belongs to n first n x place we have to substitute 1 okay 1 substitute means uh, then uh, what's the value it will come then uh, it, uh, 1 substitute means uh, here um, what's the value 2 we are getting it is not equal to 0 okay leave it then afterwards 2 substitute 2 substitute in time we got 0 okay the next one uh, 3 substitute 3 substitute in time also we got 0 okay then uh, 4 substitute means we won't get a 0 okay then uh, this one equal to 0 have understood then uh, this uh, here these two numbers uh, substitute in time we got a 0 uh, so uh, b is equal to uh, 2 comma 3 Okay, two numbers only we uh, got, uh, so it is a in uh, finite set. It is a finite set. Like this only finite and infinite we want to find. Any other doubt? Uh, do you know that a singleton set or a set? I don't already I explained. Okay. Then one more question also. I said uh, identify the following sets: null set or singleton set. Okay. This only you check it. One less than or equal to two. Okay, this any numbers are there in between? No, isn't it? That is null set. Okay, be a second one. A set of all even natural numbers which are not divisible by 2. Okay, if whether it is possible? No. It is divisible by 2. Okay, even natural number means uh, it must be divisible by 2. But our uh, condition is not divisible by 2. So, it is not possible. It is a null set. Okay, next one. C is equal to set of 0. Set of 0 means uh, here one uh, element is there or which element zero so it is a uh, it is a singleton set okay next d and uh, d is equal to set of all triangles having four sides uh, triangles uh, have how many sides it has three sides isn't it how many is there? three sides so but here what is the condition given a set of all triangles having four sides it is not possible d is equal to null set have understood any any other question uh, mostly i completed okay and then second one identify the following finite or infinite first one exercise 1.2 
cardinal number of a set. Okay? Then I want to explain that one cardinal number you know, isn't it? Huh? Cardinal number only one question I am explaining. Here the set of all leap years between um, 1882 and 1906. Okay. Okay. Then uh, these two years. Okay. This in between. Uh, what are the leap years you should find out. Okay. Then a set of all leap years in between that two numbers. Uh, two years. Okay. Then what are the numbers we have to check. It is uh, divided by. Uh, for first uh, first uh, year you should take it 18 82 you should take it okay it is uh, a reminder is true isn't it it is uh, not a leap year leave it next uh, next uh, next year you should take it then afterwards uh, 1884 you should take it and that year it uh, take means then uh, reminder is zero we are getting okay so this is the uh, this year is the leap year okay then afterwards uh, four years uh, added Next four years add it. Okay. Then each uh, four years once leap year it will come. Isn't it? Then afterwards uh, next also uh, four year four year you should add it. Okay. Then uh, um, then um, thousand nine hundred thousand nine hundred year then uh, that year you should take it. And uh, this one um, suppose this is the uh, word. 100, 100 uh, years are there, here, isn't it? And then 19 and here 100 is there. So, in that case we have to um, divide it by what? 400. Okay, divided by 4. 4 you should not divide here. Divided by 400. And dividing time uh, uh, here you are getting what? 300. Uh, reminder is 300 you are getting. So, it is not a leap here. Okay, this one be careful. Here only uh, uh, we can plan do. Okay. Then afterwards, uh, next year you take it. Then uh, here 1904 uh, only leap year is coming. Okay. Next to this year also you should take it. Then in between these are the uh, leap years. Uh, then 5 years. 5 years uh, leap year coming. Okay. Since uh, set contains 5 elements. Here 5 elements are there. Therefore, n of s is equal to 5. This is the cardinal uh, number. Okay, cardinal number of the this set is n of s is equal to 5. Have understood? Then exercise 1.2 fully be revised. Okay, you are reduced portion up to 1.2. Okay, your reduced portion is the first lesson from first lesson uh, exercise 1.1 1 .1 and 1.2 only. Okay, only two exercises. Okay, this is the first exercise, uh, the first lesson completed. Okay, again you should revise your study well. Okay, thank you students. Have a nice day.